think you oh. bring that same talent um, for doing Kolaris. Do you not think? No, I'm really sorry. Hmm. Oh, well. Do you want a basketball fact? <laughs> I would love a basketball fact right now. Okay, so <laughs> there was an interviewer yep. who went to a uh, high school game in America, and on the first try of sending the basket in, first take, by the way, got it in, and then all the people, all the staff at that high school event took him out for dinner, and he had a great time. And everybody clapped. And everybody clapped. You can find the video online. What if I can't? Well, then, you know, you message me and I direct you <laughs> in the location. Whoa! Okay, Alpha 7. <laughs> Dear me. I'll direct your focus now to the After Party Showdown Most Eliminations and Highest Damage. Alpha 7, it's all them all day, every day. I mean, nothing really stopping them at this stage. What was it, 70k so far in earnings? Rubbish headshots, though. Oh, I thought you meant the pictures. I was like, what, you're being so mean for? No, no, they're just rubbish at headshots. That's no, all. no, I, I, I see what you mean there. I do see what you mean. Although, wasn't it an Alpha 7 player at the top? It was Mythic, but they didn't have all three up there, so I'm disappointed. Oh, okay, that's fair. That, yeah. and, I, and they need way more nadal limbs than that. I mean, come on. Yeah, two's like one, it one, sucks. Less, one less than the top guy. Oh. Rubbish. Appalling. Unfortunately, we still have the very charismatic Dama here, 343 meters, which we're all happy about. Unfortunately, A7 are not so happy, but you've got to love the smile on Dama. What a cool guy. He was always smiling on stage, you know, as well. He, he looks like a, a really sweet guy. I saw him down the player lounge, and oh, yeah. he just looked extremely happy. And I think that's how everyone should approach PUBG Mobile. No, I think great sadness. What do you think? I think you're wrong. I yeah, think uh, I'm going to go hang with Damar now mm -hmm. because you are bringing bad vibes to these games here on Miramar. Good vibes only on Miramar for this game. The last of the main four-player squad games today, match number six. Of course, we still have the duos game later, so make sure you stick around for that. But if you are sticking around for that, you might as well watch in-game. Watch PMWI together in the in-game eSports Center with your friends to win PMWI best. Special sketch. I'm Sean Connery now. Okay, then. Unbelievable stuff. I like that a lot. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to also look good in game, not quite like Sean Connery, more like indie. Harrison Ford. That's Everybody right. knows that guy looks very dapper. Mm. You can also look dapper with a PMWI gun skin and outfit. So those packages for PMWI are on sale for only a limited time, so grab them whilst you can. And you can also win yourself some PMWI treasure chests uh, if you play PUBG Mobile during the PMWI, which you should all be doing. Because right now, these games are getting me fired up, hyped up to play some matches over on Miramar, over on Arangle, even Sandho, Karakin, Livik. We've got it all here today over on the After Party Showdown as well as tomorrow. So make sure you remain tuning in. I've got a question for you, Blaine. Okay. If you had to do an impression of one of the other talent. Tell me what you really think about me. Can't be me. Okay. Who would it be? Who would I do an impression? Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> I'll put you on the yeah. spot here. Well, Max, actually, because, you know, you think? I, my, the producer, Addy, who is a beautiful, lovely guy, uh, reminded right. me that at the start of the day for me, uh, I did a great Max Extreme impression, so I probably would do Max. That's fair. Yeah. Common, common Tapple 2. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh, Sad la. <laughs> oh, that, it, I didn't think it could get uh. worse. I didn't think it could get worse. Com 7C Com Sa. That wasn't terrible. Yeah. Uh, that that right. was that was uphill slightly, but to be mm. fair, rock bottom only has upwards trajectories. Yeah. It's kind of my, my my French is not great, unfortunately. Do you, know, do you know bad bottom fuzzy? Uh, je je ne je ne pas parler français. <laughs> <laughs> uh, je peux uh, je parle en français un peu. Oh, I've less been yours. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's fr still French. <laughs> uh, no, Addy, I cannot speak German either. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yeah, I've got, I've got all, I, 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 I know this is a 
multi-language stream. Unfortunately, I'll have to keep it to English because it's the only one I can do justice. If I start doing other languages, I will have people shouting at me in Instagram or all over. You know, do they be very angry. Oh, thing. dear. Madman on the road, cut across by Kato, but surrounds there for the backup. It's a three-way engagement on the positions here for 7C versus Rod. Looks like no one's really going down just yet. No one quite landing those shots, but Rex cuts off from the rest of the squad. Oh, and also shots taken from Madman. Not happy about this one. The MIDI 14 comes into effect with a big result. Here you go. Here's a fact. Another European language, albeit a dead one. Rex in Latin means king. Well, good for him. 7C, though, Sarang continues to harangue Rad over here. Kaito comes in. There's a nade that comes through. I think both players had the same idea there. First aid kit. I don't think you need it right now, laddie. Maybe later, though. Kaito losing the teammate. 7C managed to get that first elimination bounty as well. A swift 2K. Looking for a little bit more than that as well. They want the squad wipe. Kato goes down. Madman able to find it. Flush from Sarang. 7C moving as a unit. Two players left for Rod. Yeah, looking a lot more confident as we head into the latter half of the day here. You love to see it. There's the earnings on the screen. Alpha 7 firmly at the top with 70K. Ooh. You got the A7 and the 70K in the bank. I know that makes Seven Worlds Gaming happy to see. S2G underneath 159K. I mean, those guys, though, they, they've kind of been scrounging some money where they can. And I respect it, man. I respect it big time. You know, if you can't take the chicken dinner, take what you can elsewhere. I mean, S2G, yeah, right. That's what they do. Yeah, that's what Big I said. Gaming. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. yeah, just emphasizing. That's what you're saying. I was emphasizing your point. Are I you agree. also saying that? Sorry, who are you? Um, yeah, okay. Interesting. They let you in. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, they do. I don't know where you've come from. <laughs> Apparently, I've been, I'm a timeless entity. That's what I've been told. Right, anyway, at the game, 7C moving <laughs> down. Circle's already hitting. Uh, absolutely, we have to remind you all at home that these games are accelerated. We want the pace of these games to be fast, quick, and action-packed, which is exactly why we're doing this. Teams will have to make their way into the circles pronto. Los Leonis on the western side. Do have Dead Eyes guys and all the teams. Didn't have a lot of time to loot up, but there is a fair few decent paths of rotation to get into this one. A few of them using the eastern roads. That's R8 who are still making their way down. D77 though, he is a bit far out. He's still in El Azahar. The rest of this team, you know, asking him if he can hurry up just a little bit. On the back foot, maybe. Hopefully, boosters on the cards for Mafio. So, we'll need to heal up. You can see, got one energy drink there in the pocket, and a little bit of a booster there still on the bar. You can see, still in the first phase though, so might need to get a little bit more. And there's still a way out. Three first aid kits though; they will be absolutely fine. It's still early circles. Western side looking a little bit more open than the east right now. Though Nigma Galaxy do have that west road on lock. The closest engagement, I think you can see right in the middle there, just near power grid on the south side, Stalwart and Sevency. Very, very close to one another. Yeah, one of the players there rotating through. Rod's in front of A7, Revo immediately spots this and careens off to the right-hand side. So that drops out for just a second, maybe to take some shots, but decides against it, realizes, you know, they're just in as much trouble as Alpha 7 is right now, trying to get into the zone itself. But we are heading down towards Chumacera right now. Nigma Galaxy rotating dangerously close to Dam 1 Kia. I'm not actually taking any shots as of yet. I think both these teams are concerned with their own well-being. And this is a gentleman's agreement that we shall ride into the zone itself. I take it back. Lord, you are a very naughty man. Mm. This is not how this is meant to go down. So get that against the code. Unfortunately. But fortunately enough, doesn't actually manage to land too many shots. Doesn't really do too much to slow things down. Just diverts course slightly. Looks like rather still on the warpath. I mean, they didn't get the memo that the duo's game is next game. They are going to be playing with two. Sung in a flaming car right now. We'll have to try and regroup. Just keeping himself nice and warm. You know, warming the hands at the fire. Very nice, very nice. 
Yeah, I mean, he's, he's having a happy time there. I mean, he will have to get that vehicle soon because it does have a bit of a time limit on it. S2G rocking up to Dead Eyes, guys. Silas will be tossing a grenade soon. Takes a couple of shots. I'll have to put that pin back in it. Shifu needs to have an impact from the off angle here. It is outnumbered right now for the Dead Eyes guys on their current position. Through Lover. Through Love around the side there, trying to keep this angle suppressed. Beautifully found there, an off angle for Joker. At the back there, all the way across the way, nearly shut down, but still up, still kicking, and still pumping out lead. S2G falter on their push. 5K bounty is still here, John. No team eliminations have come through as of yet. Sadat just drops out and lays Scry low there. Yeah. Knock found, actually, over onto Chari, who will have to drop down. I think Vampire Esports weren't too far away from this. Raze knows where Shifu is now. Drops the smoke, stops the push up the ridge line, seeing him on that angle and nade over from Silas. Still not quite under the watchful gaze of Shifu. Swings around the side, repositions the buggy, potentially a little bit of cover there. But are S2G wanted to go for this, or are they disengaging? Really sparse on loot at the moment. S2G, if you took a quick peek at their meds, you can see right there, bandages, one painkiller, one energy drink. It's really rough in terms of stims as well as medical supplies. This would be a fight that would be nice to win, just to you know, steal some equipment off the enemy team. But I think right now, Dead Eyes guys are certainly outlasting S2G. Move just a bit further into the zone here, so they can keep this fight going for a little bit longer. Circle heads back up towards Picardo. Stalwart, a little bit unhappy with this one, though, after losing Scry there. This is this engagement right on the eastern side of the next circle. Rays. Not quite finding those angles. That was the first airdrop collected. Did you catch who it was? I was focused on the engagement. I did. Yeah. Who was it? I gave him a little golf clap as well. It's Ralph. Picked oh, himself up. Wow. A nice little airdrop. That's on the western side of the map. Directly opposed to this engagement here, which is right on the eastern edge. R8 are moving in through the northern side of this engagement. I wonder if we're going to have the back and forth between R8 taking down S2G, S2G taking down R8. Could be amusing, but it looks like R8 are more prioritizing getting into the circle itself here. Kelsey on the roof. Covered, actually. I think this is a pretty good spot for Kelsey. The way up to the roof is covered by his two teammates, meaning that if you push up, you need to deal with Silas. You need to deal with Ray's first. Either that, or you just win out those trades hands down. Ooh, potentially able to bobble a little smoke there onto the stairs to push on up. They know Kelsey's up there, but they can't quite get there yet. And it's not going to be uh, super easy to make that push unless you can get a little bit of a squeaky, cheeky play done. Yeah, they're kind of locked in this fight now, though, with uh, Kelsey on the top side. It's going to be difficult to get him down without completing that fight. And you can see already the blue has made its way over to the circle. So it is not waiting around for any of these teams. It is go time. Next circle about to hit and heads down towards Alpha 7. Mm. Looking to pack another chicken dinner into that backpack of theirs. And honestly, they're going to need a level 3 at this rate because they have had so many... Absolutely. I mean, it's, one, it's going to be one each if they can take this one home. Lovely nade on to raise. This is what we were talking about before. The openings that need to be found in order to get up towards Kelsey. Silas laid bare, somehow dodging through the hailstorm of bullets. Staying alive for the, for the time being. Hang on a minute. Who's this? Someone else coming into the engagement potentially? No. Shifu does get spotted. Kelsey shooting on down. That's where the bullets were coming from. Now they're looking to try and mount up this pressure. Nate potentially popping out through the windows. Kelsey trying to swerve around the side. And Silas still going out in the open. I mean, they're not making it easy for Dead Eyes, guys. I'll tell you that now. Kelsey, though, with the UMP. Continues to send Dead Eyes guys further down. At some point, Dead Eyes guys will have to leave. Kelsey can almost sacrifice himself here for the greater good so that potentially Silas is able to leave. Maybe trying to look for another way, but seems like the only one that's going to work on out. Dead Eyes guys are really getting slowed down here. Trying to evacuate their location. Kelsey takes an aid, and that is the end of the Castle King at the top of the building.
Los Leones must be left now. Silas still alive, but on the northern side and alone for S2G. Yeah, there's your, there's your sacrifice made by Cal C. Silas drops him the salute. He starts to run away here, but he has locked them down. Stalwart Pika, top action. Still in this one, they're only lost scry earlier on so three players still up here ready to go you can see alpha seven off in the distance but they're very central they'll be waiting this game out dama nice shots down towards aladdin nicely found shots at the back of scout coming in potentially a third party i think that might have been r8 potentially chiming in or maybe even rod but 7c suffering heavily right next to stalwart that is not the place where you want to take a couple of unfortunate knocks and that is the end of Stalwart. A nice nade over the top. Oh, it was, it was Vampire Esports who chimed in onto Scout. Look at the number of teams that just got those limbs onto 7C as we tune on in with R8 and Falcons. Yeah, Bandai got knocked on the approach from Yusuf with a very nice nade here. Falcons only have two players, but so far they are sending this four-man unit back. Yusuf keeps popping down the stairs. They're very low HP, not really having opportunities to heal off. As of yet, you can see Prestige tries to pop the first day, but it's just too little, too late. And now Never Alone, the Clutch Maestro hits one. You can't jump those gaps when Never Alone is on the case. Unfortunately, the blue zone is too much to handle. And R8, with one player left, are still going, but they lose that swiftly. Vampire Esports take them down, and now just Yusuf is there. I don't think you can res in this zone. Yusuf just needs to heal, if he can. Ooh, Vampire Esports and Alpha 7. They've been going at it with the fisticuffs at the moment in these games. Coming off for Kenzi, where it was one or the other there to get the chicken dinner. And now they're both inside this circle. It could go either way, depending on the next shift. But Nigma Galaxy, they're in already. Revo goes down to Lord. Excellent find through the doorway. Lord up to the wall. Will be able to get this first aid off. Closes the door, stops that vision. Nicely opened onto the engagement. Revo smoked out. Mythic wants to try and get his teammate to safety, but you can't make that break. Not yet. Not until you get an off angle. Not until you can suppress the position for Nigma Galaxy. Hits Revo very hard there with the grenade, and it's unlikely they're to get their boy back up again. Now Alpha 7 once more down to three. Nick McGuire is causing huge problems. Vampire Esports have problems of their own, though. As down one Kia swoop into the compound underneath them on the south side of the circle itself. But they'll have to cross the road, so it's really interesting. There's two, three very good compounds inside this circle. But all depends on this next shift where it goes, especially with the crossroads right here. How do you get across these open zones? It's brutal. Open ground, a couple of ridges to play around, but the speed at which you can traverse them, super, super low rod. Try and crash straight on in, and it's all going to be a part of the seams, but finally they stitch it back together. Fortunately, there's an off angle for top, and they will be able to stay in with three. That's the kind of response time you want from your teammate. The enemy team falls, and just as that happened, action rolls up, and the bugging is immediately getting you back up on your feet. In this case, you'll get a rest playing with Stalwart. You are constantly in the game. Unfortunately, Stalwart now drawing attention. Vampire Esports sending shots their way. I think that was shots coming through from Vigatron. Really, really far away there. And shots from Alpha 7 as well. Schweppes. Taken down a peg. Hopefully Vampire Esports can get that one back up. Here's a replay of the crash that came through from Rod. Pika does go down, but it is that angle from top. Yeah, action was coming in hot there. He had the sirens on and everything. A little bit unfortunate for Vampire Esports. They do push out just a little bit, but now it's time to recoalesce. This is a fantastic shift for them. And down one key is compounds just about out. It will give them some survival time. Turu Love looking to hold on here. Last member of his team for Dead Eyes Guys, but surrounded by the aliens. Bigatron with Genforce trying to pop a nade in. A little bit left on that nade, but might do the job. Just a sliver HP left. But I know where he is now. Genforce pushes up to the vehicle, takes it away. Bandages, only the one for Turu Love. It's, it's not great. He's going to be really struggling. Just try to get as many points as possible for himself. Now, Alpha 7 will have to deal with the rest of Nigma Galaxy. They're ahead of them here in their rotational path. They're absolutely stacked, though. Good smokes. Once again, the train comes through, and they're looking to move through the steam here. 
and start something strong for themselves. Molotov out the window will prevent the push up just a little bit and with the confusion laid bare by the smokes, that was a nice nade. Starts things off strong, A7 heavily injured now. Bigatron will eliminate the Deadeyes guys, but in goes that push. Carrillo in the corner. Mythic and Mafioso trying to give any sort of support that they can. Ooh. Lord takes a little bit of damage from a nade around the side. Carrillo up the stairs. A little bit of respite, a little bit of safety. Trying to blow the doors off the hinges as Ralph goes down first, bringing the numbers even so far. Mafioso, though, is going to get traded off. The flush is good, but Carrillo's there, caught with nade in hand. The push comes through from Mamoni, and he's allowed to sneak through the gaps. Only one player now for Alpha 7, and they know where he is. It's Carrillo up the stairs, potentially looking to get this res if the doors are going to keep that cover going. But Carrillo opts instead to pop that Molotov down and give themselves a little bit more cover. That was an insanely fast Molly he brought out. He knew exactly what he had to do in that moment, but he tries to move out of the building. But it's BTR, Genfoss comes out of nowhere. They've moved upon this position, and Nick Galaxy are just completely trapped. But BTR have moved up to this position. They've given ground to Vampire Esports, who have now got the lion's share of this next circle. I mean, they've been here for such a long time, John. It's been very difficult for them not to take all this space, but they're starting to push out. Ooh. Once again, the cloak of the Vampire starts to envelop the rest of these teams. It's a question of whether they can continue to dominate in the circle. Lord's still alive, though. They're controlling Dem1 Kia on the south side of the road. They are moving into position to block out Bigatron. With Genfoss down already, they're locked in this engagement. The ridge lines are so bare, so barren for them on this Miramar. And Vampire Esports control the circle. They control the quadrant. They're going to they're gonna have another chance to take home another 10k. This will be beautiful stuff for them. They'll be happy with the money that they've earned. They've got a fair few team eliminations as well, so there's potential for even more cash on the line for them. Beautiful nade from Song, though, Ooh. from down one Kia. And another. Three players still going. Oh, didn't quite find anything else there. The res should be possible over onto Ravenclaw. Song, you imagine, doesn't have too much more in the back pocket in terms of utility. And maybe, even then, wants to save it. Oh, dear. Bigatron regrouping. Zuxi spotted. They will not be able to move forward to more than three. They take their chances there as well. I love that from BTR. They hear the third party instantly wrap around and try and surround them from both teams' side, understanding that Dan Wonkia is over towards the south. They'll take the north, and now Vampire Esports are going to have to play out of their mind as a four to prevent these teams from just starting to crush them between two walls of players. They need to take one of these fights or certainly win it out as fast as possible. The nades continue to just bobble over the top of the roadside from Dan Wan Kia. Unfortunately for them, the blue zone is pushing. They will have to move. The smoke wall has been established. They will push through. Frontman Sung looking to try and draw some fire potentially, try and allow those teammates to refrag. Jumping in, trying to gather info. The smoke starts to clear. Vampire Esports have clear rain. Across with the car. Fabian careens across the side. Sung taken down on the first push. Fabian low as well. Should be handled. Now they need to turn their attention to the last player from Dan One here. Trying to get across. It's looking hairy. It's looking ropey. And I don't think they're going to be able to do too much more. Forest finally dealt with. Schweppes did go down in the meantime. What can BTR do? Really good smokes coming out from Vampire Esports to isolate that fight between them and Dan Wong Kia. Big. Another nade though onto Ravenclaw, and now it's two versus BTR, but there's oh. two down. How does happen? Just Luxie alive. Last player going in. Fluketh one versus one against Luxie from BTR. One of the longest standing members on this roster made the name for Bigatron. They've been dodging the money all day, all tournament at this after party showdown. Is now the time that they take that 10K and nade pours in over the top. The Rizzers are coming through, and they are denied yet again. Vampire Esports take the 10. Quick on the swivel, quick on the game, and quick on the decisions coming through from Vampire Esports in those final moments. It was very, very difficult, you know. It felt one of those stressful, stressful situations where you're in an escape room, you see both the walls start to close, and you have to figure out a solution in there.